It is very common to find code like this where multiple summaries are computed by just calling the summary function on a different column each time. A better way to do this is to get rid of all the function calls and use the across function to specify the columns that you want to target and the functions argument to specify what kind of function you want to use. Here I've used the anonymous function notation to specify that the values from each column will go into the mean function where we also use the na remove argument. This will compute the same summaries as before but the code involves much less typing. And the really cool thing about this is that we can even use multiple functions to compute multiple summaries in one go. We just have to use a vector inside the functions argument and fill it with summary functions that we want to use. Now it is a little bit hard to differentiate between the mean and the variance in this output. To fix this we just have to name the functions in our vector. Here I called my functions mean and variance and then I get an output where I will see which column refers to which summary function. Still this kind of output isn't that nice because it uses a lot of columns and only one row. So what I like to do is to set a naming convention for the summary output where I have a very distinctive pattern between the column name and the function name. And once I have that I can pass this data to pivot longer to rearrange the data. To do so I target all columns and I use this distinctive separator to split my data into two new columns. This way you have all of your summaries in an easy legible way. Now if you have a data set like the Ames housing data set then you will realize that it has 74 columns. And if you want to compute summaries for all of them you will spend a lot of time typing out all of the column names in a cross. You can avoid that by using tidy select helpers instead. For example in our previous code you could use the Ames data set and then target all of the columns where the isNumeric function would return true. This way you have computed multiple summaries for each numeric variable in your data. But if you don't want to compute this for all numeric data, you could just use more tidy select helpers to refine the amount of columns that you want to target. For instance, you could target all numeric columns whose name starts with lot. Finally, let me mention that you can use across with mutate as well. So instead of just computing multiple summaries, you transform multiple columns with across. All you have to do is once again specify the columns that you want to target, say with tidy select helpers. In this case, I am selecting all columns where the name matches a regular expression. This looks for columns whose names contain the word year either spelled with a capital letter or a small letter. Then we could just transform these columns from irregular numbers to actual date format with Lubridate's make date function. Now if we look at the result of this we can't really tell if anything changed. So let me pass the result to select where I only choose the columns where the isDate function returns true. This returns only the variables we have just made into dates and we see that we have been successful. So this is yet another example of how you can combine either mutate or summarize with a cross and tidy select helpers to get a lot of work done with much less typing than if you had typed out all the function calls. So that's it for today. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.